Hey guys, I wanted to run you through a quick tutorial and show you some of the color difference here, despill and grade things. I know Matt had posted a forum about how do I grade my footage um, with composure earlier today, and so I wanted to address some of those. Um, so in here, I have a simple comp that's set up. Uh, in that comp, it's just two layers, you know, media plate over the background. And then uh, in here on the media plate itself, I have a color difference keyer that we're shipping with 425. I have the despill by average, which I've shown you before, just kind of a spill suppressor. And then uh, how to, I'm gonna show you this part, how to make a grade node and what exists in the engine right now. Um, so yeah, let's go through some of the options. So I'll delete this stuff off and show you, it's just a video player that's playing back a video clip. Um, and that I'm going to add the keyer. So on the media plate, the place to go is under this transform passes. Think of this as your effects and after effects uh, type passes. So I'll go into here and I'll call this um, CDK. Oop, CDK. And then in the material slot here, and I, I'm using the preview of 425 right now, um, I'm gonna go and search for color difference. So this one that says single pass color difference, you can see uh, the path there it says it's listed under the composure slash materials chroma key. This is the one you wanna use with composure. Um, and it will come up with the default texture, but what we need to do is tell it we wanna use this pre-pass. And that basically means the, um, the input, so the video that's coming. So anytime you add a thing and it comes up with the default texture, typically you're gonna change that to pre-pass. Then in here under the color key, it's going to pop open the window and we can go ahead and select. And when we drag, it's going to average the results. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see here we're already pulling a, a decent key, but there's some extra bits on the outside. And that comes down to this alpha threshold. So at the alpha th threshold, we're going to minimize that. And then um, let's go ahead and add another pass. I'll hit the plus and under the custom material again, We've added a, um, I'm going to call this despill. Um, this has been in Composure for a while, but if you type in average, we're going to despill by the average, the green uh, averaging against the red and the blue channel. And that's going to give us a, a generic despill that gets us uh, good quality results. Um, Sometimes you'll get a little bit of a black fringing um, based on the luminance of the, the background. But uh, for the most part, in this case, gives us really good results. Now for the, the grading. So I think I saw Matt had added and said, like, how do I change this to a tone map and, and change these color grade settings down here? But you can see that it looks ghosted. The reason it's ghosted is that this tone mapper doesn't carry an alpha channel. And we're expecting that things are um, pre-multiplied RGBA. So uh, currently this uh, tone mapper is not gonna work in this case. Uh, we've talked with, to the dev team to see if maybe we could provide an option um, that, that uh, only affects RGB or add more grade nodes. But what I'm gonna do is show you also to how to build your own um, grade node or um, color correction node. There's one that ships already with Composure, uh, but I want to show you in the engine where this lives. So if we come under the plugin content, if you click here and you look for engine content, show plugin content, that'll show both. And really under the Composure folder here under the materials, move this up and get this out of the way slightly is where um, some of these happen to live. So if you go under color grading here, you can see we've provided this one says color grade ranges. And I'm gonna drag that into here. And uh, now I'll make this a little bit larger. So this is the built-in one. Um, and th this one's okay, I like it. Uh, it's a little bit at first, if I just click the color picker and I try to change the tone, um, it works, but I, I guess what I'm trying to show is that the alpha channel is what controls uh, the, the gamma here, the gain, the contrast for things that when you're not trying to do a th three vector transform, basically you're gonna tweak this. So this would provide a more gamma. You can um, overdrive these values to go higher here, uh, but the sliders themselves aren't set up in a great way for you to just tweak uh, 
one value. Um, so you can definitely grade inside of this, and this is what we uh, currently have in Composure. Maybe we can look at more options to expand in the future. Um, I'll show you how to, and you probably want to know, how do I build this stuff on my own? So if you're good with materials, um, I'll show you. Really, this is just a post-process material that has been set up to uh, take inputs. And with this input here, um, it's going to do color transforms on it and then send this out to um, the emissive color as RGB. So um, there's another color grade option that lives in the engine. And maybe this is in a separate tutorial I can cover, but we provide the color difference key here for um, composure, but we also provide it for um, if you're going to use it on a transparent plane. So in the engine here, I'm going to search for, I'll show you where you grab this engine content. You can search for, it's under chroma keen templates, um, color difference. And this one here that's in the material templates, chroma keen, I'm going to open this guy up. This one's a little more of a full complete material, whereas Composure lets you add each element on as you want. Uh, we have to do this in just one single pass, so everything's combined. So the section I'm interested in is, um, and if you want to know more about how we do stuff, it's good to just dig into this, but this was a color correction material um, me and another artist had wrote uh, in the past, and I'm going to hijack that and use that um, in my comp. So in here, I'll go into a Composure folder that I was working in. You can see I already have a grade material. And in here, um, I've pasted that bit of code. Um, so it's a material function that we've done for color correction. We've hooked up some of the inputs to it. Um, and then I've added here, uh, if you type in 2D um, parameter 2D, texture sampler. You can change this to um, whatever name you like. Um, call this input, for example. And then uh, I've hooked this up to the emissive for the color correction. And then I have fed the alpha channel into the alpha channel. And over here, I need to enable this in the post-process materials. It's not on by default. But that's really all I've done. And once you've done this, you basically have now created your own transform effect. So um, if I drag this into the slot here for my grade, you'll see, again, I get the default texture. I need to change this to the prepass. Um, and what I like about this one is that it's, it's just in one slider, and I can change things. Uh, so I would expect, as far as the brightness goes, um, I can change the contrast and I can easily change the saturation. And you know, for the most part, when you're just trying to color match a composite, these are the, the primary controls that you'd be handling. And you can also go into these and do, like I said, the lift, gamma, and gain. And these are gonna work in the same way that you saw um, in the other one. So if I need to kind of tint the footage or bring it into the right tone, you can do that. So uh, yeah, for this, the two primary things is it needs to be a post-process material. All compositing for a composure happens in the post-process stack. Um, and inputs, anything that you'd create as a parameter in a material will show up here. So just like when you make a normal uh, material, these parameters uh, that you've exposed will show up automatically in the UI. Um, for this, we also, because we're dealing with an alpha channel, we need to come in here and set this to alpha to output the alpha channel to carry that through so that we don't get that half kind of ghosted effect that you saw earlier. But um, yeah, that's how I set up my stuff. And then you know, from there, you can go ahead and kind of tweak your composite. Now, let's say I wanted to completely um, tweak the output of the comp. So I would need to go to the comp level I have the material here that I set up the two layer comp, but you can also add other effects on top of this. So I have another pass that's happening kind of after the comp. And I'm gonna put that same grade node here that I built. 
again, I'm going to switch this to the pre-pass. Or you could do the, the full comp is what comes before it, but pre-pass is always kind of easiest, I, I think. So in here, now I can change the hue, let's say of the whole comp. I can change the brightness of both layers. I can change the contrast. So the thing to note is like on the CG layers themselves, they come with a built-in color grade setting. So if I wanted to tweak something uh, automatically, and this is set up and works uh, great right off the bat because there is no um, alpha channel on that. So uh, that tone mapping effect where we had all the color grade settings are built in pretty much by default. But again, I would tweak the alpha um, if I just wanna change the values. Um, more that have to deal with one vector instead of all three at the same time. So that's how I typically handle that. So yeah, anyway, um, I think this is just a good primer. Um, we'll dive deeper into some of these other ones as people have questions. Maybe the next step is to talk about open color IO, where that can sit into this um, pipeline. And just let me know if you have more questions. Thanks.